you become bankable as an artist. I think it's very, um, it's very good to put it out there that there's a clear difference between um, fame and you being popular and you being bankable. And um, I was not always like this. When I started, I realized that you can be popular and don't have money. In fact, being popular no longer guarantee money. It only guarantees that they will call your name. But what you do when you get inside that room, it's very important. And I, and I didn't learn this in any school. I let, you know, while going and while relating with people, when you enter a room, even as an artist on stage, the first thing you need to do is to try to understand what the person wants. So if you're going to speak to a bank, don't just believe that because you're an artist and you're popular and your song is popping, they will give you the money you need. You try and look for what they need and what is the need for them. So always think as a business man or as a business individual and put the thing on one side. It will have a time to show itself. That's why I have this there. I can wear my glasses as the band and I can remove it as a collector, but I'm bare when it's time to bear. I think there's a difference between, you know, some people might be popular or famous, but they might not be rich. So do you think Nigerian artists put up that front? Yeah, a lot of Nigerian artists are actually living a fake life, living a, a life that they cannot put up with. Because of, uh, I think most of them is tend to be with what, um, uh, you know, as an artist, you do a lot of stuff like um, you, you shoot videos, you drive a big car, you, you put on some links on you, but those are props most of the time, but uh, the viewers don't really know so you get popular at the end of the day but you're not making that much money and and be, maybe perhaps you sign to a record label or stuff like that and they get out of the funds and then you get little so but you can't meet up to the lifestyle because of what you would like to show off you like to go to club you like to buy you like to pop drinks and all that for those who drink so you like to pop bodies rather so for those who did that but yeah there, there's a big difference between being popular and being rich and uh, how what is again popular and being famous, yes, it's different. Popularity is famous, isn't it? Being famous and being rich. So, so I think it's, it's, it's a big difference. I can I might be rich and not being popular. I love to be rich and not being popular. But although I have the two, by the grace of God, I'm popular and I'm rich as well, by the grace of God. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a clear difference. And uh, you don't want people to hail you to poverty. You understand? People, Nigerians can do that. Um, you're popular, you're popular, hey, but how does that translate to your your daily bread, your sustainability, you know? That's the, the question, so there's a clear difference. Famous. And fame, fame in itself does not mean wealth anyway. You know, there are a lot of famous people, especially here, that don't have, um, you know, enough money in their bank account to buy, to buy, you know, an average car, you know. And then there are a whole lot of other people that are not as famous, but, you know, they own a lot. You know, so wealth and fame, and fame, they're two different things. Yeah. Very true. You can be famous and not be rich. Oh. What's famous? A lot of people know you. What's rich? A lot of money knows you. Pick one. So it's possible to be famous and not be rich. Uh, it's possible to be rich and not be famous. But what you want to do is if you happen to have gotten famous, make sure you find a way to convert your fame to a way of paying your bills, at least a way of having something in your pocket. If you don't know how, it might be time to talk to an expert.